Hey, what is up guys? It's Scratch Snippets here, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a number counter in Scratch. Now, you could use this counter for a plethora of things, including in your games, as to like count items. You could also make a digital clock or a calculator, or you know, just use it for anything. It doesn't really matter. This is this could be used for tons of stuff. So, I hope you guys find this tutorial useful and enjoy the video. Alright guys, so now we're in Scratch, the Scratch Offline Editor. So the first thing you want to do is you want to delete the cat because we don't need him. And then you want to create a new sprite. You want to convert the vector. Then you want to make uh, 10 text costumes. So you do 1, make a 1. And then you keep making numbers, counting up until 10. Keep doing this, duplicate it, make sure it's in the same position as the last one, and two, do the same repeat process, changing the number to the one ahead of it, do this ten times, and then the tenth costume will be a zero, so, so three, four, five, six, Probably gonna speed this up. Seven, eight, nine, and then make sure you make this costume the tenth one, not a ten, but a zero. All right, now we're over to the coding part. So, when green play clicked, drag and drop forever block in there. Do if then else block. If we're going to make a new variable, we're going to call it number. If number less than 10, then set costume. Or, uh, where is it at? Yeah, switch to costume number now change the uh, this number into the costume number so it will do since each costume number is the actual number so like five is actually five costume number five is actually five costume number four is actually four so that will actually be four for the uh, costume number so four will come up when it's four when the number variable is four that probably sounds confusing, but it'll make sense later on. So let's just set this position to zero on the X and Y axis. And then let's do another if then block. If number greater than 10. Then switch to costume letter two of number. So that'll mean it, because there's going to be another number in front of it, so it's going to change to the second number if it's greater than 10. So this would be the first number, one, and then it would change to a zero. But it doesn't change, this doesn't uh, constitute zeros if. I'm gonna do another if. Letter two of number equals zero. Then switch costume to 10. And that will change the this number to zero if it equals 10. Whoops, if letter number yeah, equals 10. There we go, there, there we go. All right, let's test it out, shall we? See, you set number to one, changes to one. Nine, changes to nine. Five, changes to five. Three, changes to three. 
So we can see if that works, but we're not going to make it that basic. We're doing two. So we're going to duplicate that. Move this one to around there. And then, so this will be the, the, yes, this, okay, so this one, this one will be the first number. So that will be like, if it's 10, this one will be a one, that will be a zero. So we're going to do number greater than 10, which number less than 10, we don't need that. We'll just hide. Show. So it's a letter one of number. So we set the number, so now restart it. Set number to one or 10. Now this should have showed. If number, oh wait, that should be less than 10, no. So if number less than 10, hide. If number greater than 10. Or, forgot to do that. We have to make it equal to, set it if it's equal. Then it will show. There we go. So 11. See? Perfect. Everything's working. There we go, we got a number counter. Perfect. Now we can make these a little bigger so it pre presents it more nicely. Set the number to, let's see, 99, why not? There we go, got a number counter. Now you can use this in anything, you use it in games, uh, clocks, you can make a digital clock if you set it set it up correctly with, uh, with data, data blocks. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.